It feels like the scammer and fraudster industry has grown at an incredible rate and we're still being defrauded millions of dollars. Today, we'll focus on what red flags to look out for to protect ourselves from romance scams, emergency scams, investment scams, lottery scams, and the new extortion scam. I'm joined by Sergeant Jennifer Horner, who's worked in the Fraud Bureau, Crime Prevention, and Divisional Mobilization Units at Peel Region Police. Sergeant Horner, Jen. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for yeah, being here great today. To see you again. I know, it's great to see you again. It yeah. feels like it's been forever. It has. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just want to begin right away, romance scams. Like, we're all being defrauded a lot of money. And everybody hears about the red flags and, and everybody just wants to be loved. Um, everyone's online dating right now. Mm -hmm. like, what should we do to protect ourselves? I think absolutely knowing what to look for in terms of those red flags. And a lot of those red flags are that these romances are initiated through some form of an online dating platform or social media platform. The messages may come out of the blue. Their, profess, their profession of love right away is kind of the biggest one where all of a sudden they're so incredibly into the victim, very, very fast rate, but yet there's the inabilities to talk in person, see each other in person, or that they can't even FaceTime. And the conversations are typically over messaging. And then they're in a far distant place where they can't see each other. And then comes the trouble of, well, I'm needing money for travel and these types of things. So then they're asking for money. Um, even though you haven't really met them or had that connection with them in person. So some of those are the key red flags to look for. And the thing is, we've all talked about these red flags over and over and over again. Yet, I don't know whether it's because we just want to be loved so badly that we kind of put the red flags aside. Yeah, I think honestly, sometimes, um, well, these fraudsters are professionals. I mean, it's their job day in and day out. What you do, you do very well. What I do, I do very well. So they spend a lot of time honing their craft and they take the time and the patience. So I think it's unfortunately that grooming component um, that lulls that victim into that sense of confidence that this is something real. I think it's very much talking to other people when you meet people and when you're meeting someone for new and that discussion of money. But I think it's ultimately making the decision to separate personal from finance. And that having that kind of uh, established line that I'm in a romance with somebody, it's new, it's initial, I'm not going to even discuss providing money or sending money or giving them money if they are in trouble. You know, those are incredible words of wisdom because we've always, we've always been told not to lend our friends money. Mm -hmm. Don't lend your family money. Yes. So this should be no different. I mean, no. But the heart does some funny things. <laughs> it really honestly does. And it is hard to see people become... Um, so entrenched um, in believing that it is wholeheartedly real. And again, I think just people, like you said, want to be cared for and loved and have that special someone. But it's just really dividing that money financial part from it. So you and I were talking before the show and you had mentioned the extortion scam. Yes. Um, explain to us what this is. So extortion scam is really just the idea that you coerce somebody, uh, scammers coerce somebody uh, to sending money. The bigger one that I, we're finding is trending is sextortion. So it's where there's videos, intimate images that have been exchanged from victim to scammer. And then now the scammer is demanding some form of money or they're going to release more photos or that they're going to um, send it out to friend, family and friends. So the sextortion one we're seeing um, in all ages, unfortunately. Um, so it's really important to not utilize um, or to be sending any of those images through the internet. So is this somebody that you are dating through, let's say, a romance scam or someone that you haven't met yet? Yeah. And then they start asking you for photos of body parts? Yes. So somebody who messages randomly through social media, you've never met them before, somebody who you've just met online, um, and they are asking for those Im intimate images or those videos, and then they turn around and demand money from the victim. And feeling so vulnerable, they do it. Um, so in those circumstances, we encourage victims coming forward and talking about it and sharing their stories in the hopes that, you know, it minimizes what happens to them. And I think that's really important, sharing the story. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are afraid to, to mention it to anyone because they're ashamed. Yeah. But the thing is, you can't be ashamed. We need to share all these stories so that other people don't get scammed. And we learn from other people's experiences. Uh, now, when we come back, we will talk about more different types of red flags, what we should do to protect ourselves. So please don't go away. We'll be right back with more scams and fraudsters and red flags.